Hey, what's going on, guys? Code Monkey Kings here. In this video, we're gonna scrape a lift proxies that does support HTTPS connection from freeproxylist.net. And if, if we scroll down this page slightly a bit, you might wonder that there is some sort of a pagination. But I just want to show you one little trick here. So if you just uh, go from the very first page to the very last one and try to grab some sort of IP address and then go to the source code and try to search for this, then suddenly we see that this. Uh, uh, is actually available within the source code. So, uh, as I already mentioned, this is the matter of the data tables jQuery plugin that uh, allows us to show the data, uh, uh, like to mimic the pagination within the single HTTP route. So, uh, now in order to write this line of code, I want to invoke my scrapey shell. Okay, I'm sorry. And uh, in order to work with the fetch method and the response my, uh, object uh, simultaneously, I want to close them within the parentheses. So now I can say fetch and print the response that text as a placeholder just for a while. And also I need to grab the URL. So we see the response for our uh, sort of a data. So from now on, we can actually try to select the table that we're looking for and within the table, trying to select all the table row tags recursively. So now we get a list of, se of selectors to iterate over, uh, which means that I can use the list comprehension here and say for row in this list. And I want to print every single row basically, but not the row itself, but row.css. And I'm looking for a table data tags and the text node for each one and I want to get all the elements available. Also, let me uh, try to quickly grab this part because we want to be reusing this quite a, uh, a couple more times in this video. So here you see like we got the list of all the codes, but now we need to filter them so we don't match these empty rows uh, and we choose only elite proxies that does contain this HTTP connection uh, uh, available. So in order to do this, I need to say if row.css and we're looking for a table data tag. So if the length of this particular uh, of this particular uh, rows uh, is equal to one or more, so if there is some data, so you see like now we don't have any missing lines. And now let's say and and I just paste this line in. Now we need to make use of indexing. So let's uh, let's count zero, one, two, three. Index of four should be elite, elite, prox uh, elite proxy and five, six. Index, index of six should have, uh, be equal to yes. So let's do this. So index of four equals to elite proxy, this like. Now let's check this. Now we get only the elite proxies. And if we also say and index of six equals yes in this case we match only those proxies that does support this uh, HTTPS connection so the very last thing left here is actually to replace this print uh, with uh, the, with the logic of writing the data to CSV but first we need to import the CSV module this like and now instead of printing this stuff I would like to say uh, and just so, sorry guys uh, let me just quickly check if I don't have this proxies.csv from the previous unsuccessful attempts to record this video okay so here I say just csv.writer to create a csv writer object and to call the uh, write row method here and there's this writer would take the only element so we need to create the uh, file stream here so I say open and let's call the file proxies dot csv and we want to append to the file stream so now i hit enter and let me just have a look so here is the proxies.csv file appearing and it seems like we do have our data being scraped uh yeah perfect it's not really that much because we just uh we did pick up only the lit proxies that does support the https connection which is quite pretty important so the very last thing to consider is just to provide the column names here and in order to do this uh, I will go for a uh, very kind of simple very simple approach here so let me just try to grab this uh, uh, names here and copy them and now here at the very beginning uh, I would like to say just open and proxies.csv this time I want not to append but to write uh, to the file stream so dot write and now I just need to provide this string so checked 
Okay. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. Last check is the only column. HTTPS. Uh, okay. Uh, is Google available there or something? Okay. Anonymity. anonymity and country. Uh, code country or what is this? Okay, code country. This is, seems to be the different code port and IP address. And at the very end, I also want to add up uh, add a new line, obviously. So let's try this again. Okay, I'm sorry, int object is not callable. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I just uh, I just forgot to put a comma here before or fetching logic. I'm sorry for this. Now this should work. Okay. So let's have a look at our proxies.csv one more time to make sure that column names has appeared. Yeah, it seems like they have. So just to make sure that they match uh, the column's uh, content. Yeah, it seems like so. IP address port code country anonymity and all this stuff. So, well, this is it for this tutorial, guys. Thanks for watching. Until the next time and take care.